MMA Meltdown, powered by Zions. Available at your local King Supers, Loaf and Jug, Jenny's Market, Circle K convenience stores, and 7 Eleven. <laughs> Welcome back to the MMA Meltdown Radio Show. Here on Mile High Sports, AM 1510, FM 93.7. You could be streaming us live on milehighsports.com. You could be checking us out at mmameltdown.us. You could be following us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mmameltdown. It's crazy. Right now, last segment, one of the segments I've been looking forward to because I, these guys beat up on me on a daily basis almost. So I'm going to beat up on them a little bit. 303 yeah. Training Center, proud sponsor of the MMA Meltdown radio yes, show. Sir. Man, guys, what's going on? Ryan Walden, Tony the Silly Basili. Oh, That's man. your nickname from now on. <laughs> I got through uh, 34 years without anybody using that nickname. That is kind of <laughs> that is kind of great, schoolish, and I apologize. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. So, yeah, I, uh, it's that's good. my bad. But uh, 303 Training Center. You guys might be more known uh, in terms of uh, the outside looking in as being the gym home of Dwayne Bang Ludwig. That's right. But there's so much more you guys offer. I mean, you guys got jujitsu program, but you're more importantly, and really the focus you guys kind of uh, geared towards his kids, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? Yeah, we we sleep it. Uh, love our kids program. I got three kids, um, so all under four years old. Uh, well, no, sorry, four and under. So I got my four-year-old in the class, and it's uh, it's just fun to do, man. There's nothing better than working with the kids. You got kids, Ryan? Yeah, I got a little girl. Which Dan. would explain the uh, the tattoo on your back, huh? That's my tattoo. My initials. <laughs> yes, sir. He's going to beat up on us. SpongeBob <laughs> SquarePants on the <laughs> lower back tattoo. Yeah, yeah. That's a good tattoo. That's, man, yeah. when, when you know that much. It's bad to get beat up by somebody with a SpongeBob exactly. tattoo. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. What do, you, right. what do you say to a guy like that? <laughs> yeah. You know, you can't really make fun of him. <laughs> but, you know, we kind of talked about it. And, you know, uh, I talked to Kung Lee, uh, unfortunately, before his loss. And, you know, he started out training at a real young age because of a mm. bullying uh, situation he had. You know, just fresh into the United States. People making fun of him not only because of his size, but obviously, you know, different nationality. So parents, you know, they, they see what we see and what we enjoy to watch, which is the U- UFC, uh, MMA in general. Mm-hmm. And they think, why would I put my kids in a program like that? What would you say to a, to a parent who has that kind of mindset? Uh, you know, that's the stigma. You know, they were constantly battling with um, 303 Training Center and every jiu-jitsu academy. Is, you know, that was the foundation of, Brazil, uh, of the UFC was Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you know. And obviously the sport's evolved and, and you see it there. But what we're doing is different. We're changing people's lives. Uh, this benefits kids in all sports that they do. Uh, the ambidexterity between the feet and the legs, the confidence. Um, you know, I could go on and on about success stories of different kids. Uh, you can always check out our Facebook page. It's just a living testament of different parents. And, and the way this has uh, helped kids that, you know, are already athletic as well as kids that uh, might have the ADD or whatever, uh, you know, the, they want to put them on medication for. So, you know, it's just some good exercise, a little discipline, and lots of fun, man. And, you know, me and Ryan, uh, you know, take this uh, all the way to the highest level you can imagine, really, and, and then uh, from adults to kids and and uh, really, the the kids are, are are where it's at, man. That's that's where we get our real enjoyment from this. Been our focus, yeah. Really, I mean, to this point. Yeah, and, and it shows. I mean, you're you're not a gym, and, and I I knew this before I became a. Uh, obviously, I think everybody knows by now that I that I trained there. But even before I I started training there, that I knew your guys' focus was was uh, on the pure sport of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, not necessarily worrying about MMA. You know, people sure. who want to learn MMA, they're going to come naturally because of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and how you do. lead yeah. into it exactly. Yeah. So, you know, what you guys are doing, I'm not going to say it's revolution. Uh, I can't even say that word. It, it's, <laughs> not, no, John it's not anything on. new. <laughs> I got it. Revolutionary. But the, the, <laughs> there you go. The angle you guys are hitting is fantastic, and it's, it's reassuring. And it's just, I mean, I, I would take my son there any we, day. We're changing what we do with the kids, though, really. If you look at how we do things, man, we, uh, our program is different. And, and uh, it really is. Tony's got three kids. I have a, uh, a daughter that's been doing jujitsu for a long time now. And, she's our highest belt. <laughs> yeah, she's our highest belt. You know, and and uh, we understand these guys. You know John I mean? Davies and, there. Yeah, he's John not in Davies the kids' class, but you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah but he comes and helps coach. You know, he's been there for uh, some of the events and stuff. Nice. Yeah. I nice. should probably be in the kids' class. <laughs> I should. I got two boys that have been in it for their whole lives. That's awesome. You are listening to the MMA Meltdown Radio Show here on Mile High Sports AM fifteen ten FM ninety three seven, where we are Mile High Sports. Uh, we all got our Zions. 
Chugging nice. those down, enjoying those. The new Frostberry Love my Zions. Frostberry Blast is completely awesome. Look at John. John, <laughs> took, John took away from his uh, Motive Pure. I think he's mixing it. He's always dumping that stuff and everything. <laughs> he is a mix. Love, love it. He does seem like a mixed drink type of coffee. fan. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, again, MMA, the community, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you guys uh, being in Westminster, it's obviously such a tight-knit community. There's everybody's helping everybody type of situation. I mean, we have another sponsor. Uh, Studio Vienna at uh, Shred a New Look. Bettina's down there doing great things with you guys. Her kids are in your guys' gym classes. Yeah, Agent Smith, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just crazy. And, you know, now that we're talking about Bettina, because, again, she does great things for the show, I, I, I'm so glad to have them as a sponsor because, again, she does do the uh, the massage therapy for, for training. And yeah. after you go through being bent like a pretzel a few times, she's the best person to talk to. Black Friday's coming up. Go check out Bettina at Shred a New Look. Uh, Studio Vienna at Shred a New Look Salon. Uh, the first 200 people to show up on November 25th will receive an extra 25% or 20% off, I'm sorry, off their already existing signature spa package sale prices. And they have multiple packages. So that's the cool thing. I mean, obviously, everybody's budget conscious, uh, conscious at this point in time. I can't talk right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for them to have multiple options and, and for you to be able to take advantage of, that's awesome. And Christmas coming up, Black Friday. I that's mean, hook me up. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, call Bettina uh, Lucci, 303-424-6461 for more information. Go check them out at Studio Vienna at Shred a New Look, uh, located right in the same complex as you are, right next to Wits End, uh, 6050 West 92nd Avenue in Westminster. But, uh, you know, they're an asset because, again, there's so many different things you need in MMA, and recovery is definitely one of those huge things, and Bettina hooks them up. So so thank you, Bettina, and, and the people at uh, v- Studio Vienna at Shred a New Look. You guys offer a great service. But, uh Bringing it back to 303 Training Center, you, you kind of say, you know, like you have a, a, a wide range of students. I mean, you got the children, huge, huge kids class. Um, I understand you guys are looking to revamp some some class uh, start times and days and things like that. Just to add more. The year. It's blowing yeah. up. That's, so it's that's a good great. problem. Yeah. And your trainers, uh, you know, everybody there. I mean, we were in, in class, what, was it Thursday? And we had, what, nine white belts? 11, I think it was on Thursday, yeah. And, and you guys, I mean, Tony, you know, one of the first conversations we've ever had was, was kind of on your theory about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and where 303 Training Center plays into it. Why don't you go ahead and just kind of break it down for the people again, you know, what it is that you think about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and, and maybe the other people who train or teach. Yeah, um, well, you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is obviously my life. I mean, I, I chose this, you know, it, it's something that I wanted to do. And and uh, <clears throat> really, I just think it's not something that every you know everybody should try out and everybody should do and and is my focus as a gym is make sure that when they train with me and they're done training they're still gonna go train jiu-jitsu somewhere else so they're not like man that that i just got beat up every time i went in that place and it and it was just rough i mean i i really believe in i was given this opportunity to be able to uh uh, with my cousin uh, Ryan Walden here to to run this because we can provide an environment for people to feel safe, man. To come in, have a good time, belong to something, man. You you, you know you in be your a 20s, part of this. 30, you know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, my dad got his blue belt. Uh, you know, he's my dad. I'm I'm 34, so he's like you know he's he's getting up there. So it, it, and he loves it, changed his life. I mean, my little sister, my son, obviously everyone I know. I try to try to get them to do this and and. Uh, and I just believe it, it, it just adds to a more fulfilling lifestyle. And, uh, you know, maybe you like to rock climb, maybe you like to do, um, you know, race cars, you know, lacrosse, you know, and, and this, uh, you know, cross train, switch it up a little bit, try some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. There's some great academies in Colorado. Um, you know, if you don't know one, call the 303 Training Center. We'll help you out. We'll tell you where to go and, and – and, uh, yeah, maybe you're not in our area. Doesn't right. matter. Don't yeah. step on my toes. Because yeah. <laughs> if you don't know where a gym is at, you can go to mmameltdown.us right. right. as well. That's right. And we yeah, have a complete list That's right. of gyms. <laughs> and not only are we updating the list of gyms every day, but Twitter accounts, if you want to follow somebody, contact information, seminars, news, interviews, articles. And MMA Meltdown is one of the biggest media sources in Colorado. We get interviews from local greats, favorites like Brandon Thatch, Michelle Blaylock, Jen Berg, who's trying to find a new name, but we also get national stars, Shale Sun and Kung Lee, uh, John Jones Bones, Cain Velasquez, so definitely check us out. You can get through to 303 Training Center through MMAMeltdown.us or go to them directly and they'll school you on it. And, and I, I speak from experience. You know, I, I never had any Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu experience in my life, was nervous about it, wasn't sure at the pace, but you get into the class and, you know, you guys are great coaches, but John, I've rolled with you before and you don't have to go fast. It's not all about explosions and and, and trying to rip people's, you know, limbs off and choking them out. It's nice, slow, 
and the confidence, the, the, the side effects, I'm going to call them, is absolutely fantastic. Weight loss, confidence, like you're saying, learning to, to defend yourself if something happened. I mean, you, Ryan, whenever we go through classes, you know, you, you relate it to both a competitive type situation and both a real life situation. It's a so, self defense, still. So, 303 know? Training Center is definitely an awesome location. Like you're saying, there have been gyms and there are gyms out there right now to where if you go and you, you're not anything close to the speed as the other students and you get torqued on real hard, you may not necessarily want to go back because the atmosphere is not right. But luckily for us and being in Colorado, there's tons of new gyms. There's tons of gyms out there. Great gym. um, Easton's and Gano's. I mean, a bunch of new gyms. And like you're yeah, saying, busy BJJ. Yeah, busy. Yeah, they're they're not going to leave. MMA. Yeah, they're not going to leave Dark the sport. Horse. Dark horse. They're just going to they're just going to maybe float around from gym Absolutely. to gym. And the way you guys designed the gym is is awesome because again, you guys wanted to avoid that stigma of MMA and and the violent sport that it is. You guys, wide open windows, no tin on them. People can just check in. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just excited right now. So, I mean, it's just awesome that you guys are doing. I mean, what's... Stop by and see what we're doing. Yeah, you know stop I mean? by. It's the biggest thing. Where are you guys located at? Uh, 92nd Harlan, 6080 West 92nd Avenue in Westminster, Colorado, right by the old Westminster Mall, which they're tearing down and revamping. Um, so that area is, you know, is, is blowing up, too. So we're excited to be there, and we're going to be there for a while. we got a long lease. So, yeah, a big uh, part of this 14 community. 14 window yeah. store, you know, front, kids play area. We do got the cage paneling, so you could do the Dan 7 cheese grater yeah. if you yeah. like. But that's for off hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. That happens before class. Yeah. And you guys talk about community, and it's obvious you guys are a huge part of the community. Just, again, from personal experience, John, you can talk to it as well. Halloween, you guys got dodgeball going on, throwing socks and balls. Yeah, Dwayne Ludwig showing up. He's texting me like, what? why didn't I know about this? I'm like, you know, loot store mask. <laughs> yeah, Ben yeah, showing up in a loot store mask. Lacho yeah, Libre yeah. style. Yeah, yeah. So why don't, I mean, obviously we're talking about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but you guys do offer... Oh, yeah. A, a, a wider variety of training. I mean, why don't you go ahead and break it down? We're bringing what else in the reflex wrestling, but right now we got like the nastiest movie tie with Dwayne Ludwig. I mean, that guy, he's there fight Sunday night and is there Monday teaching. I mean, I don't expect that. I'm not sure if he's going to be there or not. He's got his, his, his thing taken care of. Uh, so I'm just kind of, you know, curious. When I see him in there teaching, you know, it just shows his dedication to what this means. I've worked with Dwayne for a long time, and uh, we went uh, with the 303 training center, and he doesn't miss a class, man. He's there teaching uh, every, every Amazing time. Energy. Amazing guy, energy. Amazing energy. Same, same every time every you're around day, the guy. Man, smiling, man. just uh, really been a... Threatening uh, people. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit here and there. <laughs> teaching people. He's he's making, uh, <laughs> making students he's, he's wear a Hello Kitty now. t-shirt. Yeah, yeah he's going to call me. Yeah, he'll pinch you now. He ain't got you yet. He goes, you go behind me and say, yeah, let me see your tag, you know. Is that Good. cotton you're wearing? You turn around and just, ah, man. <laughs> Talks on you. <laughs> Why? So if you want more information on 303 Training Center, go to 303trainingcenter.com. You guys offer, I mean, if I'm new to, obviously I am new, but it, what can somebody who's just going to get into it expect? I mean, you offer private, a free introductory class yeah, too, right? Yeah, we break people in. It's about 30, 40 minutes, get a little bit of a sweat, learn a couple submissions, really, um, you know, just to, to get a feel for it. So when you come back the first, the, the second time, you don't feel like the new guy. We're not like, hey, Matt, everybody, this is Matt. He's new today. <laughs> yeah, you to be able to hit the ground running, you know yeah, what I mean? Man, so like, you're not sitting there, like, looking around like, what? Where and again, guys just really stuck me to class. I don't know what I'm doing. You know <laughs> and everybody I mean? around is, is, is super helpful. I mean, they introduce right. themselves. You guys walk people through warm-ups. And you, you really do learn with people. Because I went in there, you know, as a, as a white belt, and I seen four or five striped uh, white belts in there. And you see them walking through the motions as if they're learning it the first time, too. So you can kind of see the type of pace that you guys take. It's very vast. Um, but you, you know, you have been watching. You said earlier that you uh, – you know, watching it doesn't help. It actually does, man. Uh, you know, you've, you're aware of these positions. When you I got into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I did. Oh, <laughs> Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know, I didn't know anything about it when I got into it. And, and uh, watching it would have helped me a little bit. Understand there is a guard position. When I first saw that position, I was like, really? <laughs> I, got, I don't relate to this at all. <laughs> well, one of the best things these guys do is they, they teach you how to be a student. And, and that's what's so important. They make sure that... Uh, you know, if, 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 you, if you're uh, 250 pounds, number one, you're intimidating to other students. But number two is, you know, you got a lot of weight. You got to you got to be careful. with that. So these guys really make sure that everybody in there is taking care of everybody else is really important. And the safety that you guys take, the, the precautions you guys take are awesome, too. You know, we were practicing the move the other day, and nobody was getting it. You know, that, that forward roll was something you had to do. It was part of the move to defend yourself, yeah. and nobody was doing it. You just called the move off and went on to something a little bit more basic. I mean, so, again, 
If you're looking to lose weight, you're looking to gain ground, you're looking to gain experience and learn how to defend yourself, your family, your friends, whatever it may be, go check out 303trainingcenter.com. Go ahead in. Ryan and uh, Tony will take good care of you. They'll teach you everything you need to know. And, again, it's, it's addicting. It is, man. You're here every day, man. <laughs> nice. Nice. Every day, we man. had to talk you into it, but then now look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I, here. I, I, I can't give it up, man. It's like my crack cocaine. Yeah. My crack cocaine. I've been on the mat now like every day for seven years, yeah. eight years, <laughs> whatever it's been. Awesome, you know? Like I fell in love. It's been a great show. We had Dan Severn on. Mike Goldberg was on for a minute. Thanks for tuning in to the MMA Meltdown Radio Show here on Mile High Sports AM 1510 FM 937, where we are Mile High Sports. The best party in town also has the best sports in town. Fox and Hound. Catch all the gameplay action on their big screen TVs. Try all their mouth-watering appetizers and entrees. You'll score big with their selection of ice cold beers on tap. Get into the Fox and Hound and get into the game. Looking for a great place for your holiday party? They got you covered. Hurry into their four Denver area locations today. Fox and Hound. Sports, spirits, and fun. The Colorado Fight Book is Colorado's only MMA coupon book for Colorado's MMA industry. We drive you new business, more exposure, more revenue, all at zero cost to advertisers. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter as we tweet local deals. Fight Book is a win-win situation for all Colorado MMA fans and businesses. We give you repetitive exposure to customers who are already interested in your product. Join the best gyms, events, clothing, and equipment suppliers and promoters in the state. It's basketball without basketball. That's right. At Mile High Sports, we're not waiting around for the NBA. We're charging ahead. In fact, look for our Golden Nuggets issue presented by Bacardi. We'll take a look at some of the best moments in Nuggets history, the best players, the worst dressed coaches, the best and worst draft picks, and, of course, the biggest stiffs. Who needs basketball to celebrate basketball? Not us. Look for Alex English on the cover of the Golden Nuggets issue presented by Bacardi or check it out at MileHighSports.com. With its smooth, mellow taste, Bacardi is the perfect companion for a drink with friends. Bacardi is a feel-good factor that makes good times great. Enjoy Bacardi together responsibly. Bacardi USA Incorporated, Coral Gables, Florida, run 40% alcohol by volume. Fusebox Box Mixed Martial Arts. Fusebox.com. 303-875-4281. Head coach Michael Sullivan is a proven coach in grooming fighters from the ground up. No prior experience necessary. The only Sambo BJJ based gym in Colorado. Fuse Box Sambo, Pashiao BJJ, Muay Thai, boxing, kickboxing, conditioning, and self-defense. Receive two free months when you mention MMA Meltdown. Fuse Box Mixed Martial Arts.